Okay, Michael, congratulations on being elected president of the Irish Hotels Federation. Thank you, David. It's, it's a two-year term and you're coming into it in a difficult enough old time, so, so, so what are your hopes and aspirations for the next yes, couple Well, of I years? suppose in some senses it, it, it sounds like a sentence, Eamon, but, um, but I see it as I, I've, I'm somebody who's naturally optimistic and while we're in what would be classed as the doldrums, I take great comfort from the fact that this is space that we've been, been in before and my generation mightn't appreciate it, but I was looking through the notes of, of, of my, my dad who served in 1968-69 and you know what, the, the themes that came up there, they were just very similar to what we're announcing as themes today at our conference. Um, for instance, I, a headline that was there in 1968, the smile has gone out of Irish tourism. Yeah. When did we hear that before? And, uh, and the other one was the lack of credit. Yeah. And finally, I suppose, that we should call a halt to the building of new hotels. Yeah. So, but the, you know, the other side of that is, did we ever learn from any of that? And uh, yeah. I suppose it's a constant repeating of the message, and maybe that's what government is all about as well. Yeah. But, but, I I suppose, but I suppose it does say that, you know, even if things are bad, one always should be confident, because they were grim years, of course, and, and we had high inflation, we had double-digit inflation year on year, and we did come out of it. I mean, the industry did recover and can do again. They did, and you know what? They had the oil crisis that hit in the 70s. Right. I mean, we could go through the whole gamut of what happened. Yeah. But... Yeah. They were positive people in their own mind, and I think they had far less resources available to them to come out of recession than we have at our, 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 our today. That's absolutely and right. In our essay, for instance, here at the conference, we're looking at online, yeah. and the one big thing I take from online as a small hotelier, the playing pitch has been levelled completely. Yeah. I can be as powerful online as the biggest hotel chain in Ireland. That's absolutely right. And that's a message that we haven't got out to our members, and, and we're hoping to do more of that. Great potential there. And staying on an optimistic streak, uh, the Deloitte recently produced a report showing that there was good improvement in Dublin hotel occupancy and yields last year. Is that just Dublin related or is that beginning to trend down to the country? I th it's trending down on, on a trickle, Eamon. I, I think we're finding that the, the other conurbations in the state, the Corks, Limericks, Galways, and to a lesser extent the provincial towns, are starting to see some recovery. But in the heartland of tourism, when you go down beyond Killarney and you go out and, and to Dingle and the peninsula there, and you go up God bless us, up to as far as Donegal, which, sure. which has had some tremendously bad results. And the east of the country, the Midlands, where they've relied on domestic tourism and they're just starting to get a foothold. Um, one of the things I think that we really have to do is concentrate on, and you, you certainly in Itic, yeah. produce the report on tourism opportunities and new directions for the West. Yeah. At least we see a start and product development. Yeah. The, the uh, Wild Atlantic Way gives me great hope. That's right, it does. It's good to see a start. There's a lot of work to be done on that report yet, and we're conscious of that, but we are keeping it going. And I think you are, and I think, I think I we'll play our part in that as yeah. well. And I think, in particular, the, it's not that we lack facilities or yeah. that we lack um, product. Yeah. We lack the linking of them in a meaningful exactly. way for tourists. Bundling, as and, say. you know, we could give up and die and say, look, the whole of, the whole of Ireland can be toured from Dublin. But that's not the way we have in the West, no, and, no. and I think the spirit needs to come forward. Tell, tell me, the new government, well, they're not new now, of course, they're in office for over a year, but how do you think they've been doing in relation to tourism in the first year in office? Do you know, I, I'd, give, I'd give them a good seven or eight on the first year on the, on, on the card, and I think, I think many of us would agree in that. Yeah. Now, that's Let's clarify that, out of ten now, not out of all. Out of ten, Jesus, yeah. out of ten, absolutely, Eamon. But you know, uh, uh, there are issues that, that, that perturb us, I suppose the rates issue hasn't gone away yeah. and uh, you know well, you just cost of the industry. it's an awful cost and we have some ideas ourselves on that that we hope government will adopt yeah. and the other thing there I suppose is the VAT rate the certainty on the VAT rate and the gathering in particular I think needs that VAT sure. rate kept it at, does, at 9% yes, for another couple of years because the, the recovery is has not really taken hold it's, it's still in a delicate position and it is you know rate, so if, if we were to be honest about good. about the VAT rate reduction yeah. Some hotels took part of it in terms of, of bolstering competitiveness yeah. of their business yeah. and others was, 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 uh, was handed on to the customer. Yeah. But I think that was always expected. That's and, you know, it, it gave a reasonable advantage last year, but this year we will see the full advantage. Yeah. And I don't think the scheme should be culled without seeing the full advantage. Indeed, absolutely. And finally, Michael, just what we all needed, of course, at this uh, delicate time of recovery is another referendum uh, on Europe. But uh, how will you be advising your members to go on that one? I think I'm, I'm, I'm squarely... I'm, uh, part, of me wants to, part of me wants to kind of say, go on, Eamon O'Keefe, let's get the deal. But the other part says, look, we, we have to be cognizant of the fact that we are Europeans first and foremost, yeah. that we have a place and a part to play in Europe and that this will give a great statement on our intent and that we can do our deals in the closed doors Absolutely. after this and we have yeah. political capital to gain out of this. So let's be fully behind it. Absolutely. Terrific. Well, Michael, the very best of luck for the next two years. We'll be there supporting you. So uh, enjoy the two years. Thank you very much, Eamon.